Hey, what is going on guys? This is Jake at That Fit Friend, and today I'm reviewing the GORUCK Indestructible Training Shorts. So three pros to like about these shorts is number one, I think if you are a guy and you like lightweight training shorts that have a high degree of stretch to them, these could be a really good option to look into. The shell of this model is built with GORUCK's tough stretch fabric, and it has a nice lightweight feel to it, and it is super stretchy. So to put it in kind of like layman's terms, if you ever wore those like spandex shorts as a kid that you like pull over your knees, that's what these kind of remind me of. Now, obviously there's more structure and durability to them than those lightweight pants, but they do have a stretchier fit than some of the other more premium training shorts that I would put as their competitors on the market. So if you do like lighter weight mobile shorts, these could be a really good option to explore. The second thing to like about these shorts is that they're pretty dang well rounded. So whether you are cross training, lifting, hiking or using them for rucking, these shorts work really well. Their abrasion resistance has been pretty well thus far too with the barbell. And I think if you want a short that is a little bit more lightweight and breathable, these could be an option for outdoor wear. So I like their range overall and they performed really well in most of the training context I put them through. Now I do have a couple of cons when it comes to some of their features, I'll talk about that in a second, but as a well-rounded short, these shorts do a good job. The third thing to like about these shorts is that they're made in the USA and they also have GORUCK SCARS lifetime guarantee. Now, for context, that essentially means that if you buy a GORUCK product and it's covered by that guarantee, they'll replace it if there's a manufacturer's defect or if you just like break it down at their discretion, they will replace it or fix it. So I like that about these shorts. It can kind of help justify their higher price point. Plus, I love the fact that they're made in the USA. I think that's a really cool feature of these shorts. But now let's talk about a few cons that I have with the indestructible training shorts. So three cons that I have with the indestructible training shorts is number one, they do have a pretty high price point. So at a price of $75 USD, these are obviously not the most budget friendly shorts on the market. Now, I do think there's some give and take there when you consider the guarantee of these shorts regarding the SCARS lifetime guarantee, but you can obviously find cheaper shorts that will perform really well if you don't necessarily wanna drop $75 USD on a pair of workout shorts. The second kind that I have with these shorts is that their phone storage isn't the best. Because the shell is a little bit more wispy, you're not gonna really be able to put your phone in your pocket and do any form of dynamic work with these shorts because I think it'll be swinging around and they don't have a compression liner pocket for your phone, so that is something to consider. So for example, when wearing these outdoors, if I'm hiking or rucking, it's fine because I have a backpack or I have something to actually store my phone in. But when it comes to running, these I don't think will be the best shorts for somebody who wants to bring their phone with them if you're not gonna strap it to your arm or just carry it in your hand. The third con that I have with these shorts is that I like that they're decent for bigger legs, but what I will say is that the liner does ride up a little bit when you first start training, but it does eventually settle in and it's not super restrictive. So I do like that. And there's like a give and take there as well. But do note that the liner in these shorts, I think will ride up if you have thicker and meatier adductors, hamstrings, quads, glutes, etc. But it does settle in a lot better than other shorts to where when they ride up, I almost have to like fight them back down. I'll usually let this shorts liner ride up and then like let it settle in and then I'll just keep training. So. It's not the biggest deal, but it is something to think about if you do have more muscular legs. But now let's talk about the performance of the indestructible training shorts. To break down the performance of the indestructible training shorts, I'll discuss how these shorts do for lifting, cross training and more versatile workouts, short runs and daily wear. In the context of lifting, so if you want these shorts for more recreational lifting, barbell work, etc., they should do a pretty good job. So the three things I like about these shorts is how mobile they are. So I don't think you're gonna have limitations at all with these shorts and how the shell is built. Also the liner is pretty mobile as well and I haven't noticed any form of fraying or like the crotch kind of giving out during deep squats. I also like the waistband security of these shorts. These shorts fit really true, so you don't have to play with the waistband too much in my opinion, and you don't have to like crank the drawstring really short if you get your sizing right. So I do like the security of the waistband on these shorts when going into deep hinges, squats, etc. And then I also like just how durable they are. So thus far, I have yet to have signs of abrasion on the shorts from cleans and whatnot. So hopefully that stays, and obviously I will update you if anything changes in the comments below. But thus far, these shorts have proven to be pretty dang durable in the gym if you just want a short for some barbell dumbbell kettlebell work etc and for some more strength and power focused training when it comes to cross training and versatile training i think the biggest things about this short when it comes to things to like is how mobile and lightweight they are they feel super easy to wear for longer sessions when you're doing plyos and whatnot the wispiness of the shell never feel like it's really holding you back or limiting your range of motion i also really like the sweat wicking of these they do a pretty good job at like mitigating how much sweat you're holding some of the training shorts that i wear that are a little bit heavier or they're 
are built with full polyester, they'll hold water a little bit more. These shorts don't necessarily run into that same issue, so that's also why I like this short for outdoor sessions in hotter climates. So I do think that's a perk of these shorts for anybody who wants a short for cross training or versatile workouts outdoors or in hotter gym settings. Now I will say the liner will ride up a little bit once again, I think for most guys who have beefier legs, when you do start using these for your versatile workouts, but I think that the liner will settle in for most guys and you won't have to fight it the whole workout. So that is something to think about with this short regarding their performance reversal training. And then when it comes to short runs and daily wear, like these shorts will work, however, for short runs, I like having phone storage. I like running with my phone. I know I am that guy that needs head music to run because I don't necessarily love that activity. So I wish that this did have better phone storage, but I do kind of see that give and take because they are built to be more lightweight. You don't necessarily get the more structured phone pockets that other shorts have. And then for daily wear, these shorts are okay as well. However, with their wispier shell, you will have your belongings poke out of these shorts a little bit, especially if you have bigger legs. So I don't necessarily like wearing these for daily wear if I'm gonna be carrying my keys wallet, AirPods, and phone. But if I'm rocking a backpack and I can throw that stuff in there, then I will rock these for daily wear. And I like how lightweight they are. So overall, these shorts have performed exceptionally well across the board. There are little things where I think if you have those asks, you might want to consider that before investing in these shorts. But I think for most guys, these shorts should perform pretty dang well. So when it comes to the price of the GORUCK Indestructible Training Shorts, I've already discussed it in this video, but you can expect to pay $75 USD for a single pair of shorts. Now, that is a little bit on the higher end for premium training shorts, but I constantly go back and forth with these shorts because one, I like that they're made in the USA. Two, I do like that they have a guarantee. Other companies don't necessarily honor their shorts, especially when you're dropping 70 bucks and they rip, they won't necessarily replace them. So I like that GORUCK at least gives you more of an opportunity to do that, kind of take some of that edge off the investment. But I think if you're somebody who wants a short for a little bit of everything and outdoor work, these should work pretty dang well for you regarding their price. All right, so now let's answer the question, who should buy the GORUCK Indestructible Training Shorts? So first, I think if you're somebody who really cares where your shorts are made and you want something that's made in the USA, I think these can be an awesome option. And plus, I think GORUCK has a really cool mission and they're usually pretty good about backing up their products regarding durability. Their ballistic trainers have held up really well, and I feel like they would replace them if they ever broke down or like had glaring signs of issues. So I do like that about that because not every short company does that, and I really wish they freaking would because shorts are getting freaking expensive. The second context is, I think if you're a guy that wants a short for outdoor workouts, some lifting, some cross training, these can be a really good option, especially if you do like lighter weight shorts with really high degrees of stretch. These don't feel heavy. They don't feel like they're over encumbering on the legs. So I think that will be a context where these shorts make a lot of sense. Now, who shouldn't buy these shorts? Obviously, if you are strapped on a budget, you can find options that will perform pretty well for most recreational training sessions, and you could drop a lot less than this. I've reviewed shorts that cost for $30 USD and less, and they perform pretty well. They're not as premium feeling, but these are not gonna be the best shorts for obviously the budget conscious shopper. Also, I think if you're somebody who is big on phone storage with your shorts, these would also be a pair that you wanna pass on because they don't necessarily have the best means of carrying your phone with you. If you are somebody who really relies on your pocket system for both daily wear and training when it comes to securing your belongings and your phone. So when it comes to the sizing and fit of the GORUCK Indestructible Training Shorts, I think most guys should be safe going true to size in these shorts. So they offer small, medium, large, XL, and double XL shorts. And honestly, these shorts I think will work for a variety of leg anatomies. Now I already mentioned that the liner can ride up if you have thicker legs, but again, I find it to settle in pretty dang well compared to other training shorts that the liner can be a little bit more annoying in. So I do think you should be safe going true to size in these shorts. And then also GORUCK does have a pretty good return policy. So worst comes to worst if you do have to size up or down I don't think it's gonna be the biggest deal, but true to size should be the safest call for most guys. All right, so now let's do a quick construction overview of the GORUCK Indestructible Training Shorts. So on these shorts, you have three different pockets. You have one on the left, one on the right, and then you also have an internal zip pocket over here on the right side. The zipper pocket is okay for a key or a smaller belonging, but you're not gonna be able to put your phone in this pocket, it's a little bit small. For the waistband, you have a traditional waistband. If you go with the liner option, you are gonna have the drawstring on the inside. If you go with the linerless option, the drawstring is on the outside. When it comes to the build of these shorts, the shell is built with 86% polyester and 14% spandex, and then you also have a liner that is built with 90% polyester and 10% spandex. The shorts, once again, are built with a tough stretch material, so they have a lot of stretch to them, but that pretty much wraps up, I think, the biggest callouts for these shorts regarding their construction. All right, guys, that wraps up my review of the GORUCK Indestructible Training Shorts. Honestly, these shorts have been a nice, subtle surprise, and I have added them 
steadily into my training short rotation. If you have additional questions on these shorts, drop a comment down below or reach out to me personally, whichever you prefer. And as always, drop a like on the video, drop subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one.